Good evening, everybody out there. I'm here, and I'm ready to recap the day here on the Daily Wrap. Today was Wednesday, the 10th of uh, April. <laughs> I almost forgot the month, 2024. And it was a great streaming day where we did literally the opposite of yesterday. While yesterday was focused primarily on multiplayer gameplay with Helldivers 2 and Street Fighter 6, today we were solely focused on single-player content. And it was good. Let's talk about it. First of all, on today's Level 1 podcast, once again, not a ton of focus on any particular topic. Um, we did talk about a, a few different ideas that we have for the upcoming marathon that we're going to probably be doing in late May, it looks like. Um, and in addition to that, there was a new story about Ubisoft and Dead Space you may be interested in because it looks like they botched it again. Uh, I also had a little bit of an update regarding... Uh, Helldivers 2 and other things. So, it was a good podcast. Then we jumped into Elden Ring. As you know, I'm going through my second run of Elden Ring, the magic run. And after a year away, I've really come back into it nicely. First things first, today we had to beat the Shadow or Phantom Moog. Probably the Moog projection. Much how, how Morgoth can project himself into the first you know, area uh, before you fight got, uh, the grafted dude. Uh, in this case, <clears throat> this is Moog projecting himself to a secret area underneath the capital city. We beat him. And then we continued on into the northeast area of the game, uh, the frozen area called the Mountainside of the Giants. And uh, we fought a bunch... Man, today was a lot of bosses. It was like a boss day. We fought the Black Blade Kindred guarding the way to the Lift of Rolled. Then we went up the Lift of Rolled and fought so much stuff. I mean, today we were investigating that entire northeast frozen area. So we fought Borealis, the Ice Dragon... Um, we fought one of the, uh, I think it's the final one of those crow creatures. I forget what they're called, but the crow boss creatures that are really tough because they use the dark flame. Um, among other things, a few, some optional bosses and stuff. Um, and explored all that area. We even went into an optional cave that I remember particularly gave me a hard time the first run. It was the, the spirit caller's cave and we beat it on the second try, which was really cool because now I have magic that can do area of effect and stuff. <clears throat> And it definitely changed it up. We headed further that way. We ended up going to that tower. Remember, there's a tower in the frozen area. You have to cl cross an invisible bridge. So we went in there, and come to find out, an insanely cool spell was in there. And I'm like, wow, this is for my build. And this is something that in the first run completely was wasted. And now I actually used it. I was like, dude, this is sick. It just keeps raining stars down on enemies. Because we went to the minor Erd tree in the frozen area. And that's the fight where you have to fight not one, but two of those Erd tree guardians. So I just cast the spell on them and just kept hitting them. It just kept getting locked by it. It was pretty fun. Um, and then basically to end the stream, we started the the Castle Soul. That's S O L Soul as for, as as in Sun. Um, and we got a good chunk into it. We definitely didn't finish it. We probably got another half of it to do. But all in all, today was a really great, huge progress stream in the Frozen area. Now we still have other things to do. Once we beat Castle Soul, we then have the option to unlock the new route that's going to go to the Haley Tree, or <clears throat> we can go the other way to the true land of the Giants and the giant Fire Giant boss fight. Once you do that, then that unlocks for Missoula. That unlocks the path to the end of the game. So we have options. And next time around, we'll probably finish Castle Soul and just make a decision. We don't have to do anything. like We don't have to commit to going any further. Like, for example, if we went and unlocked the Haley Tree... We could just get there, unlock it, and then go the other way and do the other stuff first. But great progress today. Great fun. Really solid Elden Ring stream. Um, late stream tonight was me taking Alone in the Dark from the three day streams that I had played it. Excuse me, the four day streams that I had played it. And transfixing it to a night stream. Now, interestingly enough, when I started I was going to play Alone in the Dark, people said, oh, play it as the late stream because survival horror should always be a late stream. I started thinking to myself, that's literally the opposite of how it's ever worked. I always try to put survival horror on day streams because we get more people. People want to see survival horror more, especially when it's a new release. And people always complain that when I put horror games on the night streams, that more uh, less people can attend, and it's frustrating. So that's why I played Alone in the Dark, at least the full first run with Carnby, on the day streams. But now that I played through it the first run, I was like, there's no way it's going to hold attention as a day stream. So I made it a night stream tonight. It did okay. It certainly didn't do amazing, but it didn't do awful either. There was a couple super chats and a membership and a few tips, but, you know, not an awful night. And the good news is we made ginormous progress in the Emily side run that we're doing. 
we basically went all the way through chapter three into chapter four and a good solid chunk into chapter four. Um, basically, I, I mean, if you take a look at the amount of time that we played it, it looks to me like now we're probably around seven to eight hours into the original run and we're only four hours into this run with Emily. Um, and, and it was funny because now I started looking at stuff and we actually got to a, a room where there was nothing in it in the run with Carnby and now there's actually items. There was a new lanyette and there's a puzzle there and we don't have the item for it because it must be a new puzzle for Emily that we don't know yet. <clears throat> but interestingly enough, we have three lanyettes left to get. One of them is for a set where we already have two of the items from the, the Carnby run, but I haven't found the third yet. That one's making me nervous. I'm thinking maybe I missed it. I hope I didn't but I might have missed it. And if I did, that kind of sucks because I went through the whole game a second time to try to get all the collectibles and the full story and the tr and the achievements. And if I don't get one because I missed one line yet, it's going to kill me. It's going to really piss me off. The other one is a set that literally there was nothing in Carnby's playthrough. It's exclusive to Emily. And we found the first item and we're, we're working on the other. So I think we're making good progress there. We ended the stream in the attic, which is where you have something interesting going on because we sequence broke earlier in this second run you know a combination to a safe you shouldn't know yet but you only know it because you played the game once through with carnby you got a secret item that allowed you to get a set that says there will be a secret scene to play in the attic we ended the stream at the attic so that means next time around when we play alone in the dark we're going to see some kind of a secret scene and see what it leads to i have a strong suspicion it has to do with a noose the reason i say that when i played with carnby there was a noose with a prompt to press the button to activate. And when you did, nothing would happen. So I think maybe you needed to have all three items and then this new scene is going to play with this noose, maybe. <clears throat> so I guess we're going to find out sooner rather than later. The next time we play, honestly, I think we will beat it. I think, I mean, if, I, if you're thinking logically about the first one with Carnby, so there's the attic scene. And then if I remember, you drop down and you end up in the boat. There's the boat scene, which takes a bit. There's some puzzle solving and a lot of an uh, a lot of creatures you have to kill in the boat. And then after that segment, you go back to Derseto again, and then you get into the final segment, which for Carnby, the final segment was a, about his past and remembering who he was. <clears throat> for Emily, we don't know. Like, she doesn't have amnesia. So I don't know what her final segment will be, but people have told me her segment is completely different from Carnby's. You're not going into Carnby's scenario. You're going to do your own. Okay, so that's going to be interesting. And then it's the finale. So I think next stream, unless something goes horribly wrong or unless Emily has completely new, challenging, different content that's going to take much longer than Carnby, I think we're going to beat the game in one more night stream. Okay, <clears throat> that's good news. I can't wait to see how it ends the second time around. And hopefully we can actually get the final collectibles, get our big wrap up conclusion. So all in all, I just want to say to all of you, thank you this week was the first week where I didn't play any RPGs, except you can argue, oh, well, what about Elden Ring? It is an RPG, but it's not. It's a FromSoft game. It's treated differently in my streams and my content, as you know. But, you know, eliminating the slower-paced, insanely long RPGs seems to have worked. There's been a reinvigoration. There's more attendance on the streams. People seem to be more engaged with the content again. This is good. I'm building the channel back up, the, what I need to do. <clears throat> Because we were on a bad downward trend for two and a half months with too much RPGs. So we're getting there and progress is being made. Thank you for that. Um, <clears throat> I'm off from tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be celebrating my wedding anniversary with my wife. Okay? In the meantime, though, there will still be content. There is a new episode of DSP versus the Internet that will go live on my DSP Reacts channel. There is daily new content on the DSP Throwback channel alternating between new parts of Final Fantasy XIII and, uh, and uh, Fallout 3. So you'll see that every day alternating between those two playthroughs, okay? Um, when I come back on Friday, obviously I'll probably have a lot to talk about with the Level 1 podcast. And then we'll have the continuation of Helldivers 2 on the first stream and Friday Night Fight Street Fighter 6 featuring exclusively E-Honda on the late stream. Now, a couple cool things coming up this week. Number one, the Fallout TV series just released and my wife and I are going to begin watching episodes tonight. So... I will likely, over the weekend, be reviewing it. Now, whether I'll do a review per every couple episodes or if I'll just do one big cumulative review, I'm not sure yet. <clears throat> I want to see how much we actually get to watch and if we like it or not before I make that judgment. So, 
Uh, yes, there will be actual review content on the DSP Reacts channel in the next week. I haven't reviewed anything since Christmas, so it'll be good to get reviews back on the channel. That's number one. Number two, our co-op playthrough of Beyond Two Souls will begin this Saturday night. So if you like the co-op that Kat and I have done and you want, we were waiting to see us do something serious and regular and concrete, this game, we're going to be playing it all the way through, narrative-based, probably once a week, every weekend. So come by Saturday night on the late stream, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time, right here on DSP Gaming, for that to begin. Um, and last but not least, next week there is an intriguing new game coming out on Game Pass called Herald Halibut. It looks like stop-motion claymation, which is, I've never seen that in a video game besides Clay Fighter back in the 1990s, okay? So... It could be a unique game. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be, but I'm going to check that out on Tuesday the 16th because it is a brand new game and it's on Game Pass. It's worth a shot. So there will be something new hitting the rotation on Tuesday to check out. Okay? All right, everyone. Thank you so very much. I wish you a safe, happy, and fun Thursday. I will be back on Friday to do it all again with you and have a great streaming week. So have a good night. Enjoy the content going live right now, and I will see you on Friday. Peace out.